I was listening to that. You're not the only one living here. Show some consideration. Phil Mitchell? How, how do you know Phil Mitchell? Don't really. Call me? What's that about? You might have a job for me. You do know what kind of man he is. You moan at me to get a job. The minute there's a chance of one, you get all like this. All right, well, did you go around and ask for one? Yeah. Oh. I see. Well, are you, you going to call him? Yeah, in a bit. What happened to the music? I was enjoying that. Oh. Well, I wasn't. <laughs> I'm going to go shave. Oh, darling, I'm not saying a word. Although I must confess I am a teeny wee bit jealous. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, so those weren't your bed springs that woke me up at half past two in the morning. Oh, don't look so worried. I'm not going to tell a soul. He's gorgeous. You are an extremely lucky lady. In fact, it's made me all the more determined. To get one of my own. It's my day off, so I've decided. I'm going on a manhunt. I just can't need that money. Will you keep your voice down? Roxy's upstairs. There's £5,000 missing. Yeah, well, I'm not the one who's been buying a fancy coat, am I? Well, there's only one person who could have took it, and that's you. Hello. Hang on a sec, will you? I'm going to take this in the kitchen. No, Phil! Morning. Doc's about. She's in the bog. She's not feeling a little bit guilty about all this. I'm not in the mood for this, Billy. Lot of times I've heard Phil banging on about family this, family that. Will you stop it? Look, Roxy thinks Julie's got something to do with it. That makes it my business. Oh, what? We're talking about the coat thief here. You know full well she didn't thief it. She found it. I'll give it a rest, Billy. How do you think you're going to get away with this? Hey, why don't you start flashing the cash? You not think Roxy's going to suspect a bit? Go to work. You're mad. A pair of you. Stop waving, man. So, what do you say? Meeting up with him later, I'm going to find out then. Good. As long as it's legit, I'm, I'm pleased. Mm. Come here. <laughs> oh. well, weren't like this last night. Yeah, no, well, Glenda knows she heard. So? What's the worst that can happen? Well, no one in my family would ever speak to me again. And... Yeah, well, that's a bonus, though, isn't it? You never take anything seriously. I'm going to wait till the midnight hour. Pack it in. I'm going to lock the door anyway. Hasn't got a lock. <laughs> mm -mm. Hey. You like? Not bad for a vintage model. Oh, you horrible man. Did you hear that? I bet you were quite something when you were my age. What do you mean, were? What we mature women lack in youth, we more than make up for an experience. Isn't that right, Carol? Well, some lucky man out there today is going to get the benefit. <laughs> what are you laughing at? We'll see. Right, well... I'm uh, going to go to work. See you later. Mm. So? Who you got your sights on, then? Not you, you cheeky boy, if that's what you're thinking. Half price. Bargain, huh? What do you think? I think you're probably quite lonely. <laughs>